Okay guys, I'm going to uh, try to pick you a tubular lock here with a, uh, it's a homemade, homemade um, torque wrench here, tension wrench rather. Let's cut it out with a Dremel, make it like an F shape. Uh, stay right in there. Uh, and there's just so you can apply some torque. Alright. And uh, I'm using a uh, fail, fail safe type pick here. I got that from uh, lockpicktools.com. I'm just using it because it's got a blunt end on it. You could use a broken pick or whatever, but that's what I'm using. Okay, put a little torque on it. And you just go around and you find the ones that are got a little pressure on them. It's a seven pinner. And go around. There's one. See, so turn a little bit. There you go. Yep, it's open. Nope. One more. There it is. Now it's open. See that? Now, as soon as you turn it, one um, one pin pass, it's going to lock up again. As you see, the other guy did it. Uh, that's why he cuts his videos short. Well, as soon as I turn, it's going to lock up. I hear it lock? That's it. Now you're going to have to re-pick it. Pick it again. Go around there and do it all over again. I guess you could make a get some kind of plug spinner. Make make a rig up a plug spinner to uh, turn it real fast. But why bother? I mean, you just get one of these. It's a seven pin tuber lock from LockPickTools.com. Uh, very nice. I'm gonna um, actually I'm gonna open up a Brinks lock for you. Hey, do is just loosen the collar. Get all the pins all the way down, even on the end, and it snug it up just a hair. This is a Brinks lock, Brinks tuber lock. There you go. And I'm going to try to open that up right now. Uh, line it up in there, and I, just, I, I don't know. I just keep wiggling it as I'm sticking it in. And be nice and easy with it. Uh, keep going all the way in. Sometimes you don't get it on the first shot. Reset it and try it again. I think I might have that too tight. Okay, try it all over again. Shake it, wiggle it back and forth as you're pushing in. Mm, sometimes you get it faster than others. As soon as you feel a turn, tighten that collar up so you don't lose it. Alright. There you go. It's open. Just like that. Now I can uh, make a key off of this. Right now you got your uh, template. There you go. You get to pick this up from lock, lockpicktools.com. 7 pin tumbler lock. I like it because it's nice and compact. It's, you know, it's a good size. You don't need it no bigger than this. Lockpicktools.com. See you later.